It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's going to be a good one. Coming up next. From a building that can get louder than almost any in the National Football League, this is GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more likely is going to come away with the win. The sun is shining on both of these teams. And we're underway from Kansas City. It's Amir Amdula with the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. So now we have the Raiders for their first possession. They're laid out by the mustache quarterback for Washington State, Gardner Minshew. Gardner's the kind of guy that you just say his name. You just look at him there with the mustache in the huddle. He just puts a smile on your face. But oh, by the way, he tends to elevate the people around him. Last year in Indianapolis, filling in for Anthony Richardson, yeah, it was only 15 touchdowns on paper. And man, he made that team believe, that city believe. And he's hoping to do the same here in Vegas. His first pass falls incomplete. He can't hang on to the pass. And it sets up second down. You know, anytime you see a player tapping his chest, I'm not a great lip reader, but I know exactly what that says. My bad. My fault. Quarterback delivers him a good ball. He knows that's one he should have caught. Inside him, off goes to Madison. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Minshew now on third down. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's got a lot more. And this one doesn't go far. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. And they'll turn to former All-Pro A.J. Cole for the kick. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. So here come the Chiefs, staking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, fresh off the third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. All of us as sports fans, we know those players in the other sports that when we just think of the greatest to ever do it, a skill set that's different than everybody else, immediately a player pops in your mind. And while we have seen goats like Tom Brady and Super Bowl winners many times over like Bradshaw, Martin, and Aikman, there's just not many that have ever done it with the flair, the style, and the skill set of Patrick Mahomes. You know you love some of my buzzwords, Kate. I know you do, and this one... This one was about Will Power. He got to rock a long way from the chains and put his teammates on his back for a heck of a run and a great try at that first down. Back to the well again. And he's swallowed up in the middle, no gain on the run. Tracked down by Robert Spillane. Nothing for them on second down, and now it's third and one. Well, that run puts him right back in the same old situation for third down. I really thought that run was going to get the couple inches they needed. You can tell. Just look at them down there, Kate. They thought it was going to work, too. He gets this one to Smith-Schuster. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Looks like the defense got a little too 
wrong side of there. That's going to be a penalty. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Running it after the penalty. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Tracked down by Robert Spillane. Nothing on first and five. That brings up second down. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. From the 44 here on second down. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you gotta earn your place there. The easy way to do it, catches just like that. Going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. Connect on first, it's second down. Able to find Smith Schuster here. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. I really like the timing of that screen call to the perimeter. Get the ball in space to operate and turns into a nice game. And it's a nickel look by the Raiders. Third down coming up. Again, Mahomes to throw. He has the first one in the middle. And he'll go down here at the 16. It's a pickup of nine yards. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Another throw for Mahomes. Nice work by the back here. Playing safety valve complete. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Back to the air, Mahomes. Finds his man, it's Worthy. And he's sure the first after a mild game. Here they come, this is third and five. Throwing again, Mahomes. And he's stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. So they'll let the play stand, decline the penalty, and that's going to bring up fourth down. They'll run here, following the penalty. The offense, you gotta love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get out of the way, big time. PAT effort coming up. The point after splits the uprights. And the Chiefs will jump back to a 7 0 lead. The 
The Chiefs get lined up and they will kick this away. Has this at the six. They'll bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. Now for the second time this game, we get a look at the Raiders' offense. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. Up the middle they go with Madison. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Here's Madison again. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. They'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. It's your job to go out and win it, and win it with a touchdown. Daniel Carlson on for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Raiders tie this game 7-7. Carlson all set now for the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Chiefs sending their offense out for the second time in this game. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. On first down, that will run. And this defense offering no room at all up the gut there. No game. Vine Diablo there on the tackle. No game there that time, and it's second and ten. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. They give it to him again. Broke through the tackle. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. Only a couple of yards there. And now it's third and seven. the gun. It's Mahomes. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Pretty even match in this first half, and you're just kind of waiting. Right? You just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack, that could go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. 
The Chiefs looking to punt on fourth down, so on comes Matt Ariza to handle it. Takes this in at the 25. It's a nice running on that return. He gets it up past the 35. Call that a 64-yard punt officially. And it'll be Raider football. Minshew on first down. Got a man. Bowers has it. And he gets it forward to steal about a yard out of that. Justin Reed with the tackle. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. Running right. It's Madison. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. Third and six for them to figure out now. Out of the gun, Minshew. some of the great linebackers back in the day. To play the position today, man, you've got to be versatile. You can't just be a come up and step the run. You've got to play coverage. And these defenses more and more rely on you to break up throws just like that. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. the shotgun they'll give it to him inside and they'll manage to contain him after that six yard pickup Trayvon Merrick there for the stop a nice six yard pickup they're gonna have second and four a tight end in motion now It's Mahomes. That's complete to Juju. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 33 yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45. Brock with a new set of downs to boot. First and 10, it's Mahomes. Throw reeled in by Hopkins. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. It's the end of the first in this AFC West showdown. Both teams neck and neck so far. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. About set for the second quarter. Chiefs football here. They're looking at second and pretty short. One of the tight ends in motion left. From the 31, Kelsey makes the catch. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. A give now from the guy. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Back to the line they go. It's second down. A 
operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He's on the move. He's running for it. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. You know, that's a really good play. I, I know it doesn't get the first down, doesn't keep him on the field, but what it does is it keeps that defense honest. And I promise you, the next time in that situation, they'll have that run in the back of their minds. Field goal team running out as the Chiefs will go for three. It's a 33-yard look from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. The Chiefs get lined up, and they will kick this away. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Vegas offense getting set for another drive now. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Shotgun, Minshew. His ball's cut by Bowers. And he gets him around six there. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They give now to Madison. He's tackled with the first down yardage. A split second, all to kept the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split second reactions. A nice bit of burst search forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they can finally drag him down. Going to the ground again on first. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. They'll go right back to Madison. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. Third and just two to go. Again, right side to right. First down and more past the 40. And he's going to be taken down at the 28. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's good for a Raiders first. You know, it is so refreshing for these running backs when they have space to run. It's hard. There's so many collisions between the tackles. When they get on the edge and have green grass, well, the best of them take advantage of it. The drive picks up here, first and 10. And off goes to Madison, running right. a big loss of yards for these guys up front. One second sooner, they're going to tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Out of the gun, Madison. And he's brought down for a loss. 
They say about great outfielders in baseball, there's just something to them. They've got a knack to feel an instinct to take the right line, the right angle. For safeties to create tackles for loss in the run game, it's the exact same attribute and skill set. Got to take that right angle, and they will finish that one. Third long from here, setting up the running back screen. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball. Kate, okay, hand it to him, and he sniffed out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. We go with Madison here. And he's stopped out of the 16 after a small game. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Looking to throw. Cut near the goal line. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the gun, a run for Madison. Runs it in for the Las Vegas touchdown. The Raiders take a second quarter lead. Carlson now to add one more. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Raiders take a four-point lead. Carlson all set now for the kickoff. Starting from the five. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Chiefs offense now to take over. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. First down throw, Mahomes. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here's Mahomes now. On target to Worthy. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Now a give on the counter. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. I'll tell you what, if this defense is going to give the offense room on this counter, they're going to take it to the sideline every single time for positive yards. Someone needs to stay and lock down the backside to deny this running lane we're seeing towards the sideline. Another carry for him. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset. Probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Now it's Mahomes. Doesn't make the 
connection. No luck finding his receiver that time. And that'll bring up second down. situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his own line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Here he is on third and long. Running out route complete. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. I know on the stat sheet, Kate, that shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. The Chiefs bringing out their front team. Back deep for the Raiders, Trey Tucker. His first punt win 50. This is away and looks even better. So this one sails over the sideline, and they'll spot it where a touchback would go at the 20-yard line. The Raiders and Alexander Madison ready for another go on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. And his drive forward halted after a couple of yards. Jaden Hicks there on the tackle. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. We're to the two-minute warning from Arrowhead. The Raiders have a lot of work to do for any points before the break. Man in motion here. Minshew working from the gun. Brought in by Turner. And that will not be enough for a first down. Chiefs in a nickel set for this third down call. Ooh, the hard count works. Somebody jumped. I think this is going to give them the first. Well, it's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. A fresh set of downs after that penalty. Here's first and ten. in to throw. Taking a deep shot there on first down. Okay, no luck connecting. It's incomplete. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Minshew. The grabbing bounds left side. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's a Vegas first down. Sticking in the air with Minshew. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Brought to a halt by Brian Cook. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 41. Escapes the pocket. He's going to keep it this time. And he slides down with enough to pick up that first. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. 
As much as you'd like to find a completion and get the ball out of your hands, when a play breaks down, you've got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on his ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that. An early jump of the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Encroachment on that previous play, and that makes this a much shorter first and five. Back to throw, Minchu. That one's on the mark to Cody Myers. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. Now a timeout taken by the offense, and we're going to see if they try for two plays here or just try the field goal right now. Keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Working inside the red zone. To the edge of the end zone. Ooh, it's incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of the passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back in the rhythm. Daniel Carlson out to try this Raiders field goal. From the left hash, about 31 yards out. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. So at halftime, the Raiders fighting to an advantage on the road. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a running back, Alexander Madison, who put together a solid first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Carlson all set now for the kickoff. He feels it from the eight. Returns looking good so far. He showed some burst on that return, getting them all the way to their own 40. The Chiefs have their offense out to start this third quarter. They'll try to get that ground game established better than they did in the opening half, Bronx. See if they can attack that deficit. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Dumped off to his running back. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. He was doing all he could to find a completion down the field, but they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. Here's second and 14. To the sideline, and he's got it. That one goes for 25. Kansas City. Just about every defensive coordinator worth his salt says two things in every production meeting. Number one, well, we got to stop the run. And number two, we got to take away the tight end. Well, good luck doing that. Defending a big guy who can move like that, it's a lot easier to talk about than to go out and execute. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and 10, it's Mahomes. It's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Another throw for Mahomes. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And they get this down to the 28. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. Again, Mahomes to throw. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. 
And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Even from the booth, Kate, I could hear it. I could hear that front seven telling the guys on the back end, hey, all I need is a couple seconds of lockdown from you guys, and I'm going to get to this QB. You promise that you deliver? And that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time in getting that sack. Offense to the line for second down. Trying again, following the set. He completes it in traffic. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You know, some of these tight ends today, you could put two guys, heck, put three guys on them, and they still find a way to make those catches. With how they move at their size, they really are the ultimate matchup advantage. Third along for Mahomes. Empty backfield now. The running back motions out left. This one's caught. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. You put up the combine times of tight ends running a 40-yard dash, and they certainly don't run as fast as the safeties or the corners in this league. But when you get them going in the right direction and you get them dragging across the field like that, well, they can still do their damage. Ball at the two here for second and goal. Throwing again, Mahomes. Flush down now to his left. And they will score! Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs cut into the lead coming out of halftime. Patrick Mahomes, the touchdown! So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. Setting up to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Chiefs make it 17 all. It's all squared up again following that touchdown, partner. So some added importance on this series. Up the middle they go with Madison. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. There's just no question about it. He has the license to adapt a little bit, to diagnose plays because they trust his instincts. And there, well, it was all on display. Expert-level diagnosis going on to see a potential run and get in position to stop it behind the line. Here's Madison again. And he found some running room for a nice gain. It's an eight-yard gain, and things looking a whole lot better now. Third and three upcoming. Out of the gun, Minshew. He has the first over the middle. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. That's good for seven yards. And that's good for a Raiders first. Well, when the defender can get his 
hand on the pass in any way, good things usually happen. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Inside hand off goes to Madison. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. That's George Karloftis who got there for the stop. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. Minshew now on third down. He's in trouble, and the Chiefs bring it down. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact that gets home. But of course we know, it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. The Raiders bringing out the punting unit. It'll be A.J. Cole doing the honors. He's been hitting it well so far. This is another big one. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. No return on that punt. And the Chiefs will be backed up a good bit to begin the drive. They're out and set. First and ten. Putting the tight end in motion. Mahomes on first and ten. Completed over the middle. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. They'll run it from the gun. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Back-to-back -back carries here. He's got a gain of six there. Trayvon Merrick there for the stop. That's going to be a gain of six, and they need only inches now here on third down. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Five yards on that play, and enough for a new set of downs. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's complete to Juju. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Continuing to turn those legs inside the 25. Barrels in for the touchdown. The Chiefs take a third quarter lead. He broke the tackle he needed to, Brock, and help out that effort then to keep it going and eventually reach that end zone. Yeah, that's awesome on the offensive side. Defensively, not every missed tackle is the same. It may be on a stat sheet, but sometimes that help to finish a play isn't arriving quick enough, and you're the only one. The last line of defense. And in that moment, you got to scratch, you got to claw, you got to tear to make the stop. Because a broken tackle, it can mean a touchdown.
They're out to try and tack on the extra points. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Chiefs break that tie and now lead by seven. The Chiefs get lined up and they will kick this away. Abdullah now to return. This return makes it up to the 25. The Raiders back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. Going on first is Minshew. And that one's incomplete. Shotgun, Minshew. Got a man, Bowers has it. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's a Vegas first down. Well, things weren't about to end after the first hit or the second. This tight end had a vision for what he wanted to happen after the catch. And he was going to take on all comers to try to make it a reality. First and ten from the 42. To the ground with Madison. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he's able to reach that midfield stripe after some solid running. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football hope on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh -oh. It's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Sends out the punt team. And he's been getting all of it every time out. Averaging over 50 yards a kick. And this is another one well hit. And this one's out of the side of the end zone. Was trying to get that precise aim, but he was off the mark. It's going to be a touchback. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw Mahomes. Called in by Worthy. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Pressure coming from Mahomes. He's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's him the first. So we're through three here. It's Chiefs football trying to carry this lead across the finish line. Slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down throw, Mahomes. Finds his man 
it's worthy. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. the shotgun they'll give it to him inside and he's brought down for a loss you know Kate during draft season I was talking to an NFL GM and he said you know what in time we're going to realize tackles for loss are just as big a deal as sacks sacks get so much of the popularity tackles for loss when you knock that offense backwards I promise you in time we'll be keeping a closer eye on plays like that one. Second and 12 behind the sticks Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Intended target there was Xavier Worthy. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Hey, Mr. Quarterback, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. Thinking interception to be had, and incompletion is still pretty good for the defense. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And this one adventures out of play on the fly. The question is where it's marked. Looks like they'll say the 17-yard line. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. They've got a man in motion. Minshew on first down. Working from the gun. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. And that one's incomplete. For now, he brings up four. Let's see what this penalty play is all about. Tap team to perhaps take the yards and run third down again, partner. But they decline it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Calls for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 34-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Chiefs will get set to go on offense. They're set up at the 35 now. First and 10. It's Mahomes. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. When we think about safeties, I mean, it's, it's just right in the name, right? The safety is the last line of protection in the passing game. We don't think of them as blitzers. But, Kate, let me tell you, for a safety blitz to get home, they got to be great disguisers. They can't show that blitz early. That safety didn't, and the quarterback took the brunt of the contact. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Blown back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag.
A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Here we go. Second and very long. Finds his man, Gray. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 26-yard pick up there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Those corner routes to the tight ends, devastating. Even if the throw isn't perfect or the timing's slightly off, those tight ends are big enough they can adjust and bring it in. Throwing on first down, Mahomes. And the man is there to knock that away. You know, the defender can get his hands on the pass and knock it away in any way. That's usually good things for the defense. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. To the air, Mahomes. He gets this one to Smith-Schuster. And they get this down right through to the 34-yard line. The big play, that's of 17 yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Give now to the running back. And he works his way for a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. Back to throw Mahomes. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. All right, set now. First and ten. From the red zone now. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. This one finds Kelsey. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. The Raiders go a nickel on this third down. Another throw for Mahomes. He couldn't hang on. You know, third and short is a difficult one to call. Do you want to run into the teeth of a defense looking for that handoff or try to throw it to him and use the element of surprise? Evidently, well, that's one they should have run instead. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that will push it to double digits in a two-possession game. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. The Chiefs get lined up, and they will kick this away. Now Dula now to return. He's got a lane up past the 30. They'll begin from the 36 as the returner's brought down. Time for the Raiders' offense to hit the field. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. First and ten, Minshew. Forced out to his run. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And a big play drives them back.
Another try following the sack. This one falls incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And things look tougher now with third and long. Two to throw. He'll get this one to Madison. He breaks the tackle. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run the screen as they just showed up any play. First, second, third down, sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness it's coming, and more importantly, to stop it. Time here on four. He finds him beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That's a 26-yard gain on fourth down, Brock, and the huge play extends this drive. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best. And you get to see how you handle the most pressure. And it turns out they handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing. Ball at the 33 for first down. Now we're on. This is Madison. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. It's plays like that, Kate, that I'm happy I'm the color analyst and you and your spotter to do a play-by-play. -play. Because that was a mass of humanity, a whole bunch of bodies to sort through for one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Minshew. His quick throw knocked away incomplete. Try and get that one to Brock Bowers. So now it's going to be third and long. Well, if you can't get your hands on the ball and take it away, next best thing, knock it down. That's the job of every defender out there. And he made sure that one wasn't completed. Minshew now on third down. chalked up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So now on fourth down, the Raiders elected to send Daniel Carlson out for the field goal. He was money on his first field goal, Brock. His second coming a little inside of 50 yards. Kicked well, and this is good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. His neck there, they had to have that one. And it really does set up a judgment call down on the field. And this is where special teams coach and head coach are talking about game management. You've got three timeouts left, so you really can write either script you want. Onside kick or send it deep. Hartman with a return. He's got a lane up past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. This offense headed out as we get a look at their running back. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone and it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. To score twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Mahomes on first and ten. And the deep ball falls incomplete. Prime connected with Xavier Worthy there. So it's second down coming up. You know what I like about this shot down the field, Kate? It keeps a defense honest. They know defensively, if we overcommit, we could get burned deep. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. From the gun, here's a handoff. And with a nice skate, he runs him down inside a field goal range. 
A solid eight-yard gain there, and now they're going to have third and two. You're sure happy with that offensively when you can hit a defense where it hurts, right in the middle of the field. And doing it on the counter, just simply overpowering them with their blocking makes it that much sweeter. Back to the well again. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Find me an offense that won't take that type of result every snap. Good execution, a quality gain, and then move the sticks. First and ten now from the 30. They fake the handoff. Now Mahomes. To the ground it goes. That's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. The give now out of the shotgun. And that run very short, only getting to the 27. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time. 155 to go. See what they draw up on a third and seven. Looking to throw. That one complete to Hopkins. And they get this all the way down to the 16 yard line. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Here's the handoff. He sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. Now the Raiders using the last of their timeouts. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Give it to him again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have third and five to figure out. He'll look to throw it. That play is so impressive on so many levels, not just because it saves a touchdown pick. He had to time that perfectly to knock it free without drawing a flag or let him establish possession for the score. That is so, so good. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. That kick right there, Kate, it was a crucial one that really just caused their odds of winning this game to jump substantially. Now we've got a two-score game. It really leaves no room for error for this opposing offense as they prepare to take the field. His return starts at the five. Find some space. He's past the 30. He'll begin from the 36 as the returner's brought down. The Raiders have their offense back out there. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. It's a pickup of 11, and that's good for Raiders first. 
That is all-out effort to make the catch. Putting his body on the line, diving for the ball. He earned that reception and some warm targets in the immediate future. Here he is to throw. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down.